Viral video, take 500. I'm neither musically uh, inclined and or can I sing. Um, I'm here to simply talk about um, a very important topic. Uh, one which uh, tends to be looked over a lot um, is just strategies on how to bring education and bring schooling home from school. Um, and I kind of wanted to talk about a couple things, a couple strategies on what, what that looks like going forward. I do have a guitar, um, and they also send a bunch of books home, like this one, like this one, like this one. All books that they require you to know and want them to teach to your kids. So in this crazy world, how do we effectively communicate to our kids? How do we stay in their lives, both as teachers and as parents? Um, is very hard. So I just wanted to share a couple things. Um, first thing is that I've noticed from the teachers for my kids. This is Karis. Hello. And this is Ellie. Hi. And they both go to American Leadership Academy. And um, a couple things that their teachers do to uh, to help bring um, schooling home is one thing is they send out a weekly email an email that lets us know everything that they're going to be learning throughout the school week. Um, so that keeps us informed on exactly what's going on in their uh, their school week during that time. Um, and I can ask them periodically. So this one over here, I've asked multiple times, like, hey, I know you're learning about Greece right now. Tell me more about that. And she's able to say... Uh, that, um, that everything that's cool. Everything about it's cool. So I guess Greece is cool. But uh, when I asked her earlier that same week that she was learning, she was able to tell me about Athena. Another really cool thing that they do is they'll send projects home. The teachers will send projects home that all the kids can do with their parents. Uh, so like these me, mm -hmm, these me posters, um, and then just other things. Like uh, my daughter Eliana, she's doing creative writing. So she gets to bring that home and read it to us. Sometimes they'll do it. They'll act it out for us. It's really awesome. Um, things that um, the parents can do to engage with their kids is, I know for us, I have another child, I know for us, um, driving home, the first thing they do when they get in the car, if you're lucky enough to pick your kids up, um, is I ask them, hey, what's one good thing that happened today and what's one bad thing that happened today? So, Karis, what's one good thing that happened today? Um, that I got to go on a field trip. Oh, you went on a field trip today. Um, awesome. And Eliana, what is one good thing that happened to you today? Art. What'd you do in art? Uh, I played piano. <laughs> um, I played piano. Um, she had art, but she forgot. But we're talking about it. So, um, and then another thing that we do is, um, right when they get home from school, they all sit down at the couch. And generally, I'll come in there and I'll sit with them and I let them know, hey, this is the time to ask me questions to get things done. Mm -hmm. Whether that's with tough math problems like subtraction or number bonds. Um, we're able to do that in things like English. So um, those are just a couple things that we're able to do as a family um, that I have seen work for us in our household. Um, but if you have any uh, tips, any ideas on how to make that better, um, I think the connection between parents and teachers and students is all connected. It makes this triangle that just connects everything back together so it makes that learning experience that much better. Um, so it's really important. Um, and if you have any comments or any suggestions, please let me know. And this is Kyle. Karis. And Ellie. Signing off. This viral video is going to go viral. Yeah, viral. Um.